Hello everyone and welcome to BMW M Test Center in Newburgh. And look what we have here. Uncamouflaged BMW M3. Four doors, rear quad exhaust pipes, taped off badges. So I would have no idea what type of car it is. Yeah, good job on the camouflage there. But there's some very good news attached to it. Namely, on the front, we don't see the massive kidney grill that we would see on the new M4. So, for everyone who hates the big grill, you can go for the M3. It looks sexy. Look at those lines one more time. Awesome. Well, actually, it's not an M3. It could be M3 Grand Coupe with quad exhaust pipes, not wide body. And apparently the M3, actually, well, definitely M3 has the big nose because that's what we've seen on prototypes running the grills before. So I don't know what it was. We'll find out. But for now, enjoy some more car spotting. Right, good morning comrades, welcome back to the Nürburgring and today we're going to have another prototype on Nürburgring prototype spotting video. As you could have seen, we just saw the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series, still on the camel, although the car has been unveiled, going pretty fast. According to some rumors, a couple of months ago they already did a lap record attempt, but maybe they were not happy enough and they still are going to do something again, try to do something again, because when the car was unveiled, specifications have been unveiled but no Nürburgring lap time, and I'm pretty sure Nürburgring lap time for this car is very important, so we're gonna see about that. We will see also a lot of other interesting cars, a new Rolls Royce Ghost is doing some laps, Manti Racing GT3 RS991 Mark II MR is doing some laps, so yeah, let's wait and see what else we're gonna see. The Hyundai i20N, that's going to be a very nice hot hatch, hot little bombshell I would say. Something big, heavy and quiet is coming, could be the Rolls Royce. Yep it is. I would say it performed pretty well through this chicane here and the previous Rolls Royce Ghost did also very well on the Nürburgring. Check out the video up here in case you missed it where we went out for a lap on the ring with the previous Ghost. The new M3. Followed by some older cars, you could see L sticker on the back. This means that just the drivers are getting their industry pool license. I don't know what's more impressive, the fact that Aston Martin Zagato is being here ready for over a week because we spotted it here last week already and oh there we go, Black Series one more time it Sounds so quiet, I really just have to say that But going back to Zagato, it's being here for a week, I wonder why they're testing it so it could be a mule, but it would be a very expensive mule prototype just for the sake of running it, because after all, Zagatos are pretty expensive on itself. Or the fact that it's being overtaken by an X5M, by an SUV. Good job, BMW. Or of course, maybe Zagato driver isn't even trying. The new F-Pace, I guess. Definitely a Jaguar. Previous model or the base model M2, also with the L sticker, so nothing to expect. The new Range Rover was pretty quiet, so it's not a V8, I guess. However, on the other hand, maybe with all the OPF and catalytic converters and God knows what they have in store for us. Oh yeah, not messing about. Fast and quiet. Maybe Black Series refers to a ninja. You know, because they're fast, quiet, black, usually dressed in black. You have to be careful calling things black nowadays. 
Oh. I hope that just like for recon and not anything has happened. I guess if anything would have happened, they would have been driving a lot faster. Another Cayenne fully sending it. The spoiler looked a lot bigger than usually, I believe. But it could be just my imagination. And 5 CS. The new Panamera Sport Turismo, so the facelift model. I mean, after all, it's about time. The car has been on the market like almost four years, so yeah, we should expect the facelift now. Oh, here we go. Some people say that it's a battle of SUVs right now here, but some people say that it's actually Hyundai Kona N, so more sportier version of the existing Kona. Looks like a facelift GLC or GLB. The new S Class. Wonder when they're gonna unveil that. <laughs> the sound of the turbos is ridiculous. I think it's time Porsche is going to reclaim the fastest SUV on the Nürburgring record. That could be a very good contender for that. Nice pops and bangs. The S class is trying to make the S offsend it. Well, good attempt. The new Defender V8. Sounds good. And another one. On Camouflage Black Series, or should I say White Series because of the color and uh, yeah, all the bad jokes, I'm sorry. Now just a quick comment for because some people are going to ask why would you put a Rolls Royce on the Nürburgring? Nobody's going to do it. Why would you develop it here? Because Nürburgring is not only a race track, it's also public toll road, but it's also a development track. Because if the car can survive here, it can survive on public roads. Thereby all the manufacturers such as the Range Rover, Land Rover, Jaguar, all the SUVs and, and Rolls Royce and all the other cars that are not intended for track use are being developed here actually. One forty. Why are you here? It sounds great, but the experience is telling me that this, this could be a US model. This means without OPF filters, so a European version probably gonna sound a lot less exciting because that's what we've seen with RS6 and other cars that have been tested here previously. On track, they sound amazing. And then the road version is just like, a, where did the sound go?
Hmm. Hmm. With the forward steer. Man. Very nice. Very nice use of the track over there. Every centimeter. Well, I guess that's it for today, guys, because it is now actually uh, also very nice use of the track. Nice. It is almost half past four. This means over an hour I have to be on the track myself, so I better get going back. Um, there are two cars that I haven't seen. Well, I have seen while I was walking to this spot, but I didn't see, unfortunately, driving past here, which is GT3 RS MR 901 Mark II. Very excited to see what the car will be able to achieve. The non-MR version is doing 656, so would the MR version be able to do sub 650? That will be very impressive. And they have to hurry up uh, because, well, the, the 992 GT3 is coming out soon. So that car has to, well, to be on time there before everyone's going to be like, hmm, I'm not interested in that. And another car was the uh, M4 GTS, the, the current model, the outgoing model. Because this probably means that they're benchmarking the car against the, the upcoming M4. But we will see all the speculations. But for the upcoming news, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, share, hit, hit the notification bell. Don't hit the barrier. Leave that up to me. And see you next time. Bye.